Have you ever wondered how the vibrant color of an apple is put into a t-shirt or lipstick? It's an intriguing question, isn't it? The answer traces back to the evolution of the red pigment which has journeyed through time from the earliest civilizations to the present day. In the beginning, the color red was derived from the most natural sources. The earliest humans turned to the earth under their feet, extracting red pigment from clay or red rocks. This earthy red color found its way into primitive art, clothing and even body decoration, a simple yet effective way of producing the color red. As time advanced, so did the methods of producing red pigment. Fast forward to the 1400s when the Aztecs, a civilization known for its innovation and creativity, discovered a new source of red. They found that a tiny insect known as the cochineal could be crushed to release a vibrant red dye. This discovery was revolutionary, and soon these tiny creatures were farmed and harvested to meet the demand for red. Fast forward to the present day, and this method is still in use. Cochineal insects continue to supply the world with a significant portion of its red dye. The vibrant red of an apple, the striking red of a t-shirt, or the bold red of a lipstick, all may have their roots in these tiny insects. Now the color red is not just a hue, it carries deep symbolism, especially in Christian tradition. In the Bible, red is a color of royalty, sin, and shame. It's also the color of blood. When Jesus was ridiculed as a would-be king, cloaked in shame and robed in the color of the blood he would soon shed, these symbolisms merged into one heartbreaking image of red. Yet the same red color carries a promise, the promise of deliverance from sin. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow, says Isaiah in the Bible. Interestingly, the cochineal insects, the source of the red dye, are milky white on the outside. They release their red blood only when crushed. This fact echoes the words from Isaiah, was crushed for our iniquities. Red, the color of sin, was endured by Jesus in his crushing death to save those stained by sin and to make them as white as snow. So, the next time you see the color red, remember its journey from the clay and rocks of the early civilizations through the innovative Aztecs and their cochineal insects to the present day. Remember its symbolism, from royalty and sin to deliverance and salvation, the color red, as vibrant as an apple, as striking as a dress and as bold as a lipstick, is a testament to the journey of humanity and a symbol of hope and salvation.